The first in vitro fertilization baby was born in July of 1978. So it's been around for over 30 years now. In vitro fertilization has advanced since the late 70s and currently we have more options under the in vitro fertilization technique. If a couple is experienced infertility, we have them come in for an extensive evaluation. There can be multiple causes of infertility. For women, age is often an issue and people don't realize how big of a factor that is. We know that at age 40, half of all the eggs that a woman has are going to be abnormal from a chromosomal standpoint. There are things that can cause tubal blockage, infections, or endometriosis. There can be anatomic problems. Sometimes there are abnormal growths in the uterus. Male infertility, many times we don't have a good um, explanation for why they may have a low sperm count. For most men, if they have a low sperm count, we will need to use treatments such as insemination or in vitro fertilization. So the success of an IVF treatment depends on several factors. The most important is usually the age of the woman. As the eggs age, they just don't function as well. Pregnancy rates go down with IVF as part of the aging process. The other thing that we will do as part of the evaluation is look at hormone levels. And so women who have abnormal hormone levels often will not respond as well to the fertility medications. If we get a very low number of eggs, then we have fewer embryos to choose from, and so the pregnancy rates can be lower from that standpoint. In vitro fertilization involves having a woman take daily hormone injections. and while she's taking these daily hormone injections for a couple of weeks, she does ultrasound monitoring every few days. When it looks like the ovaries are ready and it's time to remove the eggs, we will do a vaginal procedure where we remove the eggs with a small needle. After the retrieval process, the patient will go home about 60 minutes later, and then in the laboratory, we will fertilize the eggs. If the sperm count is normal, we will do standard in vitro fertilization where we place the eggs with a high concentration of sperm. If the sperm count is very low, then we will inject the eggs directly with individual sperm. And that is a procedure called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. After the eggs are fertilized, we will look at them three days later. And if the embryos are developing very nicely and we can't choose the best one, then we will watch them for for a couple more days to the blastocyst stage. And by doing this, we can select the embryos better and transfer one to two and reduce the risk of multiples. And this technique of blastocyst culture is something that we have pioneered at Stanford.